We're here in Chamonix and it hasn't snowed for a little while. That doesn't matter though, it's a really good opportunity to learn some more ski mountaineering skills. You join me here at Brevon and just behind me is the famous Ensacourwa. Now in good years and with good snow you can ski in and some people even just straight line through. But at the moment, with the lack of snow, we're going to have to do an abseil to get in. So we're going to have a look at the system that I'm going to use today and a few other bits and pieces that might be useful for abseiling into a cool wire like this. So first things first, we're going to need a harness. Now I like to use a ski mountaineering type harness, something that's easy to get on and off when you've got your skis on your feet. The reason for that is we might ski, we might abseil down this couloir and then when we get to the bottom of the abseils we might want to quickly take our harness off and throw it into the bag. So being able to do that with the skis on the feet is really useful. We also need a few carabiners and crucially a prusuk. Another thing I'd really recommend is a Petzl Connect Adjust like this. It's a really useful way to clip yourself to the anchor and get the tension right so you can stay weighted down onto the anchor. The rope I'm going to be using today is a Petzl rad line. This is a 60 meter rad line. And what we have here in this couloir is a 50 meter rappel from the top anchor down to somewhere that we can start skiing. So a 60 meter is more than long enough, but only if we use it as a single strand. If we had two 60 meter ropes, obviously that's going to be useful. Um, but today I'm actually going to use the Beale Escaper, which is going to be a great addition to this system of a single rope and a beel escaper to, to give us a full length abseil. So we're going to look at how this works. So I like to have my rope pre-stacked into just a basic stuff sack like this. This is from a sleeping bag, I think. What I've done is cut two holes in the end and I've tied a figure of eight, a re-threaded figure of eight inside, and stacked all the rope in. And all I, all I need to do is tie this end through the beel escaper and throw that into the couloir and we're ready to abseil. The benefit with that system is you can get the rope all the way down so you know where it is and you can keep it out of the way of your crampons if you're wearing those or your skis if you have those on your feet. So when you arrive at the couloir, the first thing you need to decide is whether you're going to keep your skis on your feet or whether you're going to take them off and put them onto the outside of your rucksack. Now there's pros and cons of both but what I would say is if there's a rock step to go over it's definitely preferable to take the skis off and put them on the bag and that's what we're going to do today. However, if there's a, a load of snow that you can slide down with your skis and protect the bases, it is actually a lot easier to keep the skis on and just abseil backwards, sliding down the snow, and then you can get down over the steep part and you've already got your skis on, pull the rope down, and you're ready to start skiing. Just a quick disclaimer before we crack on, this video is really just designed to inspire you to go out and learn these tricks and tips. What I would say is the best thing to do is go out with a guide like myself and learn exactly what you need to do step by step, starting with all the basics and working your way through so you can do it safely and not have any accidents. Just gonna put them on one side, actually. It's a good tip because uh, if you put them on your the opposite side to where the rope is going to be, if you've got the rope on your right hand side, then the skis want to be on your left hand side, so you're, you're not getting caught on the rope so much. Okay, so I've set up my ready to abseil. I've got my Prusik clipped through my belay loop down here. I've got my lanyard and in the middle of it, I've tied a clove hitch and put a, uh, a, a ball lock carabiner on rather than a twist lock or a screw gate. I put a ball lock carabiner on here. Just think that's a little bit better to use with an Italian hitch on the rope. And then coming up, we've got my connector and then I've made a little extender down here because the anchor's quite high because there's supposed to be a bit more snow here. Um, and I've threaded up the, uh, the beel escaper over here and just made sure that this black line is below all these thread points. If you don't know how to use that, check out how to, uh, the manual and, and make sure you know how to use these guys before you dive into using them. The idea is that I can get down to the bottom and I pull it a few, I pull it multiple times and it works its way up through. 
and then the rope will fall down. I put a little knot in here for the first person who goes down. So that's a good idea is just having the first person tie the knot in there and then the second person can untie that one just to double check that it's not slipped down at all here. Okay, so we're ready to throw the bag. Got my, got my rope bag like this. Just gonna make sure there's nobody below. I'm just gonna open the top of the bag just a little bit like that. I'm just gonna give it a shout just in case somebody's below or they're climbing up the couloir, for example. Okay, attention, cut! Okay, and I'm just gonna lock the rope. So I'm ready now to set up my, my abseil and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the, the prussic loop. So prussic loop is going to go around this rope multiple times, about a few times because it's quite a thin rope with just one strand like this. I'm going to go around a few times like that and then at the end here what we're going to do is we're going to spin this guy just to tighten that one up even just a little bit more and we're going to clip that one in there and that should work as as my third hand I mean, what we're going to do is just double check that that's going to work so we're going to slide it up and we're just going to double check that that's going to hold us if we have a little slip and we fall over cool that seems to be working great so now we can do the next step we're going to pull this one down like this and pull in a load of slack and we're going to tie our italian hitch into the carabiner like this Boop. okay and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this strand is coming over the back of the carabiner if it's not coming over the back it's going to be rubbing over this and it could be opening the gate so we've got to make sure it's coming over the back so we bring that system up nice and tight don't forget i'm always backed up on here and we're just checking that the system is working Okay, so as you can see, hands free, I'm being held nicely by the system. Check all the gates are screwed up nicely. Check the BL escaper hasn't come down. It's come down a tiny bit there, so I'm just gonna bring it a bit, little bit tighter. Double check everything again, check the knot, check the Italian hitch, check the Prusik, check the carabiner, make sure the gate's closed up, and just make sure that I'm really happy before I'm gonna come out of this, uh, this final attachment here and start my abseil. Okay, here we go. Maybe see why we took the skis off today. <laughs> So that was how to abseil into a core. And remember, there's a lot that goes into this, so it's really worthwhile hiring a guy to figure this sort of stuff out. If you've got an idea for another video, why don't you write a comment down below? Otherwise, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.